these are diseases that are, uh, by virtue of their nature of being rare, are very, very poorly characterized. They tend to often to be genetic diseases, sorts of diseases that are passed down through the generations. For the most part, these are absolutely devastating diseases. A huge impact on the, the patient themselves. Quality of, the li of life is, is, is very poor. In the US, a rare disease is a disease which affects fewer than 200,000 individuals. Around 350 million patients around the globe are affected by rare diseases. It's around 5% of the population. Despite so few individuals from a global perspective being affected by the rare disease, they account for a huge number of uh, hospital admissions. And the general healthcare burden of these individuals is enormous. There are approximately 7,000 different rare diseases. I think that list continues to expand as we learn more about the genetic basis of disease and our ability to diagnose these conditions improves. Around half of these are cancers, the other half are non-cancerous in nature, uh, and around 70% of all rare diseases are childhood in diagnosis, so they affect children. It takes around eight years for a patient suffering from a rare disease to be diagnosed, and part of that odyssey, as they term it, involves being seen by up to 10 different physicians. Because they're rare, they're poorly understood, they've been poorly characterized, they've been poorly documented. So the physicians themselves don't, often don't know what they're dealing with. We're dealing with a lot of unknowns here, so when we try and gather statistics, it can be quite challenging.